A surgeon from Russell's Hall Hospital in Dudley has returned from Syria where he's been fitting prosthetic limbs to over 100 people made from melted down drain pipes. Now they're not as advanced as ones available here but they're a fraction of the cost and Vagar Qureshi says they're helping to change people's lives as Lee Comley reports. A new leg and a new lease on life. For just £30 this child can walk and play once again. So far, the two-year-long conflict in Syria has claimed more than 70,000 lives. It's also left many without arms or legs, or without the kind of health care that we enjoy here. Made in a makeshift clinic from donated drain pipes and recycled rubber, these limbs are much more crude than the prosthetic limbs we get in the UK, but also they're much cheaper and suit the kinds of work that people in Syria are doing. It is practical, it is doable, it takes you from point A to point B and that's what my countrymen wants it. 80% of my countrymen, they work in fields, they work in barren lands, they work on uneven surfaces and these limbs, the western limb would not let them do their uh, previous job or occupation which is either in the agricultural fields or going deep down, knee down into the water. But this plastic thing will let you go back to where your previous profession. Over the past seven years, more than 3,000 of these limbs have been fitted in Syria and in Mr. Qureshi's home country of Pakistan. Now others have been trained to make and fit them, allowing many more to benefit. It gives them, a pro number one, a profession, number two, self-esteem, and number three, I've done it, rather than someone else giving them as a gift or an aid. So that's very, very diff different to appreciate with someone in the Western world versus the third world countries. Mr. Qureshi hopes to extend the program to other disaster and war hit parts of the world, such as Haiti and Afghanistan, to give others the chance to stand for themselves once again. Lee Comley, ITV News. Remarkable. Now